cryptids. They are very interesting, ranging from Bigfoot to camera heads. Today I am explaining the entire cryptid slash cryptozoology iceberg. A special thanks to Reddit user Jim Bosef because he made this awesome iceberg. For those who don't know what cryptozoology is, it is basically the study of certain animals or animal species whose existence has not been confirmed, such as the Yeti for example. Uh, before we start I'd like to clarify a few things. I'm going to use a rating system which consists out of different moon phases. I'm going to show one of five moon phases in the bottom left on every entry, which reflects my thoughts on how likely I find it for the entry to actually exist. I will also sometimes show the size of the cryptids and the country or region where they originated from. Alright, I'm gonna explain the five moon phases. Quick disclaimer before I start, I am by no means an expert on any of this, so don't get too upset if I tell you that your favorite cryptid probably doesn't exist. I did all this research for fun and entertainment purposes only. First we have the full moon. This means that the cryptid is 100% confirmed and it has either lived in the past or is alive right now. Then we have three quarters of the moon. This means that I believe that the cryptid is very likely to exist, but its existence has not been confirmed yet. Half moon means that the evidence behind the cryptid seems solid and it does have some chance to exist. A quarter moon means that I believe that the existence seems unlikely, but there still is a chance. And then we have the dark moon and that means that the cryptid does not exist, unfortunately, and is confirmed to be a hoax. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, I would like to say one other thing and that is thank you for watching. I worked very hard on this video and I would really appreciate it if you subscribed and leave a like if you enjoyed this video. That would be awesome. Anyways, make yourself at home because this video is gonna be very long. Maybe even get yourself a drink, presumably something strong, because you might need it. Now let's get into the first layer. Bigfoot. Bigfoot is probably the most famous cryptid out there. Bigfoot or Sasquatch is supposed to be the bipedal ape-like creature that inhabits the North American forests. Bigfoots can get as tall as 2.7 meters or 9 feet and are covered in black or brown hair. Bigfoot is extremely popular in modern pop culture and there are a lot of anecdotal sightings, videos, photographs and recordings. Whenever large footprints are found, people link this with Bigfoot. Gigantic Octopus Another very famous pop culture icon is the Gigantic Octopus, or as many of you probably know him, the Kraken. The giant octopus goes way back and is often associated with the sinkings of large 1700s and 1800s ships. We know that the giant squid exists, but the giant octopus has not been confirmed. The ocean is big, but for now it just seems that the monster is just a part of fiction. Sea Serpents Sea serpents are old mythological creatures. They are often referred to in old heroic stories and they are described as a sea dragon monster. Alleged sightings of sea serpents keep happening every year. Its length is reported to be around 66 feet or 20 meters. Chupacabra The chupacabra is a creature that could be described as lizard or alien-like. The word chupacabra is Spanish for goat sucker. It gets his name because it supposedly lives off vampirism, meaning he drinks the blood of livestock, mostly including goats. The chupacabra was first sighted in Puerto Rico in 1995 after it allegedly killed eight sheep. All of these sheep had three puncture wounds in their chests and were completely drained of blood. A few months later, 150 animals and pets were killed in a town nearby. Jersey Devil the Jersey Devil stems from New Jersey and Philadelphia folklore and is a wyvern-like creature with a goat head. It has bat wings, horns and a fork-like tail. The creature is quick and has a very high-pitched scream. Jackalope The jackalope is a mythological hybrid and is described as a jackrabbit with antelope horns. The jackalope was first created by Douglas Herrick in 1930 after he put a deer antlers on a jackrabbit and thus popularizing this taxidermy mount. I think that you can almost certainly write these cryptos off as real because of the Shope Papilloma virus. This virus causes rabbits to have horns. 
Thunderbird. Thunderbirds are alleged gigantic birds of prey. They originate from old stories in which it was told that when these birds flapped their wings, thunder was created because of the size of their wings. This would naturally explain some forms of weather. A good explanation for the Thunderbird is the Argentavis, which is a giant prehistoric condor. Loch Ness Monster Everyone knows the Loch Ness Monster. This cryptid has become so popular that it's basically the modern symbol of cryptozoology. The first sightings of the monster stem from the 1930s, and they haven't stopped since. I find the existence of the Loch Ness Monster very likely, with it probably being a version of a plesiosaur that is still alive today. It has also been theorized that the monster is a primate species of a whale. Yeti The Yeti is a tall, upright walking ape that has a brown or black furry coat that lives in the Himalayas. There have been many expeditions in search of the Yeti during the 20th century, and there are even speculation that the Yeti is related to cases like the Dyatlov Pass incident. Dover Demon The Dover Demon is a small humanoid creature living in Dover, Massachusetts. It has been described to be similar to a grey alien. It has glowing eyes and can both travel on all fours and bipedally. Mothman The Mothman is a very well-known cryptid and is a bipedal winged humanoid. People say that he is better described as a humanoid owl rather than a humanoid moth. His wingspan is said to be around 14 feet or 4.3 meters. Good photo evidence of the Mothman is hard to find and that makes this one likely a hoax. The Mothman could be confused with Thunderbirds, which are reported in the same area. The Mothman actually has its own festival that is held in West Virginia every year. Greys Greys refer to the grey alien type. Greys are described to be long aliens without any muscle or hair. Grey alien sightings make up over 40% of all alien encounters, including the Roswell incident of 1947. There are many theories trying to depict what these greys are, and there is even one suggesting that greys are humans from the future that time traveled back to our time. I think it's very likely that the government has information about greys and tries to cover up as much of it as they can. But now and then a piece of evidence slips through the cracks. Bad Squatch Bat Squatch is a hybrid between Sasquatch and a bat. It has a Bigfoot-like body and large bat wings. The creature might be a misunderstood sighting of Mothman, and it does not have too many sightings either. Mongolian Deathworm The Mongolian Deathworm has a large worm that has a blood-like color and can as long as 7 feet or 2 meters. It has the ability to spit out corrosive yellow saliva and generate blasts of electricity. It uses these forms of attack after it comes out of the sand. It is believed that this poison is so deadly that the prey immediately dies when poisoned. It has been theorized that it lives underneath deserts. Enfield Monster The Enfield Monster is a weird alien slash demon like creature. It has supposedly caused a large amount of fear in the town of Enfield in 1973 after a young boy named Greg Garrett was attacked by it. The Enfield Monster is a greyish and slimy creature that has reddish eyes and lives in Illinois, USA. Flatwoods Monster The Flatwoods Monster is believed to be a cryptid of extraterrestrial nature. It has a body that is similar to a robotic suit and it's recognized for its cowl that has the shape of an ace of spades. Globsters The Globster refers to an unidentified organic mass that washes up on the shoreline. Their appearance is most of the time unidentifiable, but scientists sometimes find tentacles, flippers or eyes. It is believed that globsters might be carcasses of giant squids. Hellhounds Hellhounds are supernatural canine cryptids. You might be familiar with the famous Greek hellhound named Cerberus, which has three heads. Normal hellhounds only have one head. The legend tells us that when you look into its eyes three times or more, you will die. In European legends, hearing the howl of a hellhound is an omen of death and sometimes the cause. Loveland Frog Loveland frogs are bipedal frogs sighted in Loveland, Ohio. They have leathery skin and webbed hands and feet. They are 3.3 feet or 1 meter long, making them eerily large frogs. Ogopogo Ogopogo is a cryptid lake monster in Lake Okanagan with a similar fashion to the Loch Ness Monster. 
There were large sightings of Ogopogo in 1926, when 30 car drivers and their passengers claimed to have witnessed the same thing. Ogopogo might be a sea serpent. Poplik Monster The Poplik Monster is a part man, part goat creature that lives in Kentucky. The monster gets its name after the Poplik Creek below the Poplik train trestle. According to the legend, the monster uses hypnosis and voice mimicry to lure its prey to the trestle so that they die by an oncoming train. Some also say that the monster handles a bloodstained axe with which it attacks its prey. Reptilians Reptilians refer to reptilian humanoids, which is a popular cryptid used in both folklore and conspiracy theories. A reptilian is a half-human, half-lizard creature. There is a chance that the Loveland frog sighting in Loveland, Ohio was actually a reptilian sighting. Some people now believe that our government is controlled by reptilians. Wendigo The Wendigo is a cannibalistic spirit resembling a zombie. You can picture a Wendigo having the appearance of a corpse with a grey skin and yellow fangs. It is believed that the Wendigos eat human flesh. There is also a chance that the Wendigos disguise themselves amongst humans. Once they become their Wendigo form, they have an endless lust for human flesh. Yaoi The Yaoi is an Australian cryptid that has a mammal-like appearance. The Yaoi is comparable with Bigfoot and Yeti. Dragon Of course, the dragon is included in this iceberg. A dragon has reptilian traits and it's famous for its appearance in many cultures and media. In the New Testament, the devil actually takes the form of a red dragon with seven heads and ten horns. We are not sure of the existence of dragons to this day. A dragon-like creature might have existed back in the day, but probably without the fire breathing part. Hydra The Hydra is a serpentine water monster that stems from Greek and Roman mythology. Writings depict Hydras having both six or nine heads, while some later writings increase the head count to 50. A Greek author named Heraclitus, the paradoxographer, has rationalized this myth by suggesting that heroic men were simply fighting a single-headed snake that was accompanied by its offspring. Umibosu The Umibosu is a sea spirit from Japanese mythology. Umibosu emerges during sea storms and sinks ships of whom crew spoke about the spirit. Umibosu is made out of storm clouds. Skinwalker The skinwalker is a person with the ability to shapeshift into any creature. In most instances, the skinwalker needs to wear the pelt of a desired animal in order to transform. Skinwalkers are well associated with the Native American culture and their beliefs. Fresno Nightcrawler The Fresno Nightcrawler is a cryptid that has humanoid features and appears to have webbing connected from each knee to its torso. It is hard to depict their exact characteristics because of the poor quality of the footage. Ghosts Ghosts have been around forever and they are known by everyone. Ghosts are said to be the disembodied spirits of both animals or humans. The first ghost sightings go back as far as 70,000 BC, as early religions worshipped spirits in their cave drawings. Ghosts have a physical appearance that could be described as phantom or elusive, meaning they don't have any physical matter. Centaur Centaurs are half-human, half-horse cryptids. They have the upper body of a human and the lower body of a horse. A very common theory for centaurs is that the idea of them is a reaction from a non-riding culture, meaning a culture that had never seen horse mounting before. It has been reported that the Aztecs had this false interpretation when they met Spanish cavalrymen. Dwarfs Dwarfs are small creatures that originated from German folklore. They dwell in mountains and inside the earth. They are usually described as short but wise. There is one interesting instance in 1945 in Venezuela where two young male hunters came across a hoovering croft out which dwarves came. These dwarves tried to abduct these two men and thus one of the hunters hit a dwarf with the butt of the rifle, only to have it splinter into pieces. It was almost as if he had struck a solid rock. Gargoyle a gargoyle is a fantastic horror creature that is usually used as a guardian for a cathedral or a castle. It is believed that gargoyles are living statues and demonic vessels. Giants Giants are humanoid cryptids that are extremely large in size. 
Archaeologists have allegedly found bones that belong to humans that were 11 feet and 6 inches, or 3.5 meters tall. These could have been giants. There are also some rumors about giants living in hollow earth, underneath the earth's crust. Gnomes. A gnome is a mythological creature that is a small humanoid that lives underground. The word gnome is Greek for earth dweller. Golems. A golem is an animated anthropomorphic being in Jewish folklore created from clay or mud. They seem to carry a limitless symbolism because they can either be a villain or a friend. Griffin. A griffin is the offspring of an eagle and a lion. There have been multiple sightings, with one of them being in 1984 after a pedestrian described a dog with wings flying through the sky. Krampus. Krampus is a horned demon-like creature. According to the folklore, he shows up during Christmas season and punishes the children who misbehaved. In most instances, Krampus wears chains and thus symbolizing his binding of the devil. Leprechaun. As most of you know, leprechauns are associated with St. Patrick's Day. Leprechauns are a mythic creature from Irish folklore. They are depicted as small bearded men that wear a green hat and coat. A well-known fact about leprechauns is that they own hidden pots of gold at the end of the rainbow. They represent a symbol of luck. Troll A troll stems from Scandinavian folklore. Trolls are described as ugly and slow-witted. It is said that they dwell in isolated mountains, rocks and caves. Trolls can be dangerous to humans. Unicorn A unicorn is seen as a horse with a single horn. There have been some signings of unicorns, but it's very likely that this creature is just part of fantasy art. Vampire Obviously everyone is familiar with this creature. Vampires are in fact so popular that most old cultures have some form of vampire in them. Jinn Jinn are spiritual creatures in Arabic folklore. They live in an unseen dimension that is not detectable by humans. Jinn can travel very fast and have a large community on their own in which they have kings, laws, weddings, and other humane traditions. A jinn is similar to a genie, which is also an Arabic spirit. Leviathans Leviathans are primordial sea monsters. A leviathan is Hebrew for whale, and they represent a large underwater serpent. The leviathan is also used in Christianity and usually depicts the image of Satan. The Bible describes them as being extremely large and I mean extremely long too, with a length of 300 miles or 483 kilometers long. Rock The rock is described as a gargantuan avian creature that stems from Middle Eastern legends. It represents a massive eagle in size. It is said that the eagle is so big that it can hunt full-grown elephants as its prey. The rock never lands on earth, only on mountain Quaff, which is in the center of the world. Aswang An Aswang is a cryptid that comes from Filipino folklore. It is a cross between a werewolf and a vampire-like creature. The Aswang has spread a lot of fear in the Philippines. Banyip The Banyip is a creature from Aboriginal mythology which lives in Australia. You can find it in swamps, creeks and riverbeds, and it's said that it lives all over in Australia. Bunyip means evil spirit in a native language. It is believed that the Bunyip eat people, and mostly children, after he developed a taste for them. A Bunyip has that of an emu and resembles the characteristics of a bird and an alligator. Mermaid A mermaid is an aquatic creature with an upper human body and a fish tail. Stories about them began at around 3200 BC. Sightings of mermaids keep popping up, and there also is the aquatic ape hypothesis theorizing that the ape family has a branch that lives entirely underwater and might even be sentient. Ahul An Ahul is a winged cryptid that resembles a giant bat. It lives in the deepest part of the jungles of Java and New Guinea. Air rod In cryptozoology, air rods might belong to a so-called atmospheric beast. Air rods cannot be seen by the naked eye and are only picked up by cameras. 
They were discovered in the 1990s and are still being found to this day. Phantom Cat The Phantom Cat refers to a species of feral cat that lives in Australia, but its existence has never been confirmed due to the lack of evidence. There have been hundreds and hundreds of reported sightings, so their existence is very likely. Bear Lake Monster In the most recent depictings, the Bear Lake Monster is described in a similar fashion to that of a crocodile. The cryptid's body is green and is a tourist attraction for the lakes located at the Utah-Idaho border. Beast of Bray Road The Beast of Bray Road could be described as a werewolf or a hairy humanoid. This cryptid case is seen as one of the most famous werewolf sightings in the United States. There are some theories about the Beast of Bray Road that it was someone in a suit or that it was an hallucination. Bessie Bessie is a lake monster which has similar characteristics to the Loch Ness monster. The first sighting of Bessie occurred in 1793. Bessie doesn't refer to just one creature but a lot of them that live in Lake Erie, a large lake that borders the US and Canada. An award of $100,000 has been set on Bessie. The Bloop You might remember the Bloop from a conspiracy iceberg. The Bloop is the name given to a very large underwater creature which was theorized to live in the ocean after an ultra low frequency underwater sound was recorded in 1997 in the South Pacific. If this sound resembles a living creature, it would be extremely large in size compared to the blue whale. Champ Champ is another lake monster related to the Loch Ness monster, as it resembles a plesiosaur. Devil Monkey Devil monkeys are baboon-like primates that have supposedly been spotted in forests in the US. Devil monkeys have strong kangaroo-like legs and have razor-clawed feet. The Lois Ape the Deloise ape is a large primate, which only evidence stems from a photograph taken by Francois Deloy in South America. The Deloy stated that he had crossed what he thought were bears during his 1920 expedition, but these animals turned out to be monkey-like. The monkeys resembled spider monkeys, but they were 5 feet 3 or 1.6 meters instead of the usual length that was about 3.3 feet or 1 meter. Dodo the dodo refers to a bird species named the dodo bird, which went extinct during the 17th century due to human activity. The bird went extinct after many shipmen ate them in order to survive on the island. The dodo was an easy prey for the explorers because it was fearless and couldn't fly. The bird still belongs to cryptozoology because there have been claims surrounding the fact that it never fully went extinct, meaning that a small population on the island or islands surrounding it allegedly still exists. Fiji Mermaid The Fiji Mermaid is a creature that consists out of the head of a monkey attached to the back half of a fish. There have been sightings surrounding the Fiji Mermaid near the Fiji Islands in the South Pacific Ocean. Baba Yaga The Baba Yaga is a supernatural being that can take the form of an old woman. It usually wears a cloak and a dress and has sharpened stone teeth. She stands on one leg and is surrounded by a fence of bones taken from her victims. Giant Anaconda The Giant Anaconda is an undiscovered snake species that allegedly has been sighted around the Amazon region in South America. These giant anacondas have been reported to be very long and might be very dangerous to humans because they can swallow large prey. Multiple expeditions to the Amazon have had their giant anaconda sightings. Indrid Cold Indrid Cold is known as the Smiling Man, a humanoid alien. Indrid Cold smiles when you encounter him and is associated with UFO activity and sometimes with men in black. He is described as a 6 feet tall man that wears a green suit with a black belt. He lacks a nose, ears and hair. Sightings of the man have been popping up in West Virginia around the same time Mothman sightings came about, which also occurred in that state. Kappa Kappa is a creature that stems from Japanese culture and has a childlike and reptilian appearance. A kappa is humanoid in form and has a skin that is either blue, green or yellow. Every kappa has what is called a sera, which is where their power is sourced. This is a cavity in their head and it's filled with water and when it's not filled, the kappa is unable to move. They are usually seen as innocent and very polite. Kasai Rex Kasai Rex is said to be a surviving species related to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. 
The Kasai Rex came about after a Swedish hunter allegedly crossed one during his expedition in the Kasai region in Congo in 1942. He saw it chasing and dismembering a rhino. The existence of this cryptid seems a bit strange because no tyrannosaurid species ever lived in Africa. Mammoth The mammoth was a relative to the elephant and went extinct around 1700 BC. There are many theories that claim that the woolly mammoth never went extinct. Mantis Man The Mantis Man is a tall bug-like creature that has been reported in New Jersey. It resembles a praying mantis. The Mantis Man might be an example of an experiment that went wrong or an aggressive mutation. The monster behaves exactly like a normal mantis. The Megalon is a giant shark that is very similar to the Great White, but way bigger in size. Because of the fossils that have been found, scientists can confirm that the Megalodon has existed, but has likely gone extinct thousands of years ago. Because of the extreme size and depths of the ocean, there have been theories that state that the Megalodon never actually went extinct and lives at extreme depths. There have been a very few prominent Megalodon sightings on camera, as well as multiple deceased whales and other large creatures containing huge bite wounds. Mokele Mbembe Mokele Mbembe is another plesiosaur slash Loch Ness like cryptid that lives in the Congo. Its meat is allegedly poisonous. Montauk Monster The Montauk Monster is the name given to a mysterious glob of mammal flesh that was found on the shores of Long Island. The body is likely one that of a deceased raccoon, but cryptozoologists believe otherwise. Naga a naga is a cryptid described as half-human, half-serpent that lives in the sea and in rivers. Many people believe that the naga are responsible for unnatural wave phenomena that occurs in the rivers and lakes. Ningen Ningens are humanoid cryptids that live in the Antarctic Sea. Ningens appear mostly at night, so it's hard to take good photographs of them. Ningens appear to have a human-like skin, eyes and a mouth, and also share characteristics with whales. Owlman Owlman is a large humanoid owl, similar to Mothman. The creature originated from a sighting where two young girls in Manan saw a large winged creature above the tower of St. Manan Church in 1976. After some investigation, one of the girls made a drawing of the creature and it gained the name Owlman. Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus The tree octopus is an alleged dangerous cephalot species that both lives in trees and in the water. It is said that these octopuses only go to water when it's mating season. Unfortunately, the tree octopus was an internet hoax created in 1998 where it appeared in a fictitious video. Quetzalcoatl The Quetzalcoatl is a serpent-like god from the Mesoamerican culture. This deity is supposedly way older than the Aztecs themselves, and images and drawings of the god can be found on a lot of ancient temples and other buildings. Scarecrow We all know the scarecrow as a decoy or a mannequin that should discourage birds to eat growing crops. There is a supernatural belief that scarecrows are actually living humanoid cryptids that come alive whenever nobody is looking, and return to their original spot when necessary. Scarecrows are often evil and dangerous to humans. Skunk Ape The skunk ape is a large bipedal and humanoid looking ape that has been sighted in the Everglades National Park in Florida. This could very well be an undiscovered ape species. spring heel Jack The spring heel Jack is a flying humanoid depicted in English folklore. The monster is villainous and evil and acted as someone to fear for residents of suburban London in the 1830s. Werewolf Everyone knows the werewolf. The werewolf is a cryptid that could be described as an anthropomorphic wolf-like humanoid, usually meaning it is a human that is placed under a certain curse. The transformation from human into wolf happens during full moon. Some variations include shape-shifting werewolves, meaning some humans can turn into either wolves or humans on command. After their first sightings and stories from medieval Europe, werewolf culture was spread all over the world. White River Monster 
The White River Monster is a gray fish-like monster that lives in the White River in Arkansas. When first seen, the monster was described as white as a car and three cars long. The fish has a very long and sharp teeth. Phoenix. The phoenix is a legendary bird from Greek mythology. A phoenix obtains new life after it arises from the ashes of its predecessor. A phoenix usually has very vibrant colors such as gold, yellow and red. 50 foot Congo snake. The Congo snake is a snake that was discovered by a Belgian colonel in Congo. The 50 foot snake might be an oversized python. Ancient astronauts. It is believed that ancient astronauts are highly advanced humans that possibly learned space travel before we did. Ancient humans might have sighted ancient astronauts as depicted in many cave paintings around the world. Man-eating tree. The man-eating tree is a cryptid carnivorous tree that can eat humans and large animals. There have been sightings of these kind of trees consuming whole cows. Doppelganger. Doppelganger is German for doppelgoer. It is an exact mirrored copy of yourself and is able to take over your life, fooling everyone you know. It is believed that the doppelganger is some kind of spirit that inhabits your mirror image. Sightings of a doppelganger are pretty much non-existent because people usually die when they see theirs. Ghoul A ghoul stems from Arabic folklore and is depicted as a creature that lives on graveyards and consumes human flesh. Ghouls are related to the jinn but are supposedly way more evil. The better a ghoul is fed with human flesh, the more human they look, almost to the point of them being indistinguishable. Wanderlight Wanderlight are floating spirits that produce a blue light. Signings of wanderlights exist from all over the world. Ifrit The Ifrit is a djinn from Arabic folklore. It resembles an enormous winged creature of fire. Ifrits are only susceptible to magic and elusive to any kind of physical harm. Beast of Exmoor The Beast of Exmoor is a large cat-like beast that lives in Exmoor, England. It has been theorized that the beast is an escaped jaguar. Santer The Santer is a mysterious cat with fluorescent hair. The Santer has a tail with eight hard knots and it can be used to knock out large animals in combat. Puff spores. There's not much to find about puff spores. All I know that these spores are fungi that can release deadly toxic gas. Atmospheric beast. Atmospheric beasts refer to a group of cryptids that cannot be explained by modern biology. These are flying monsters that can levitate without any wings and have a semi-solid body. Avians. Avians are an alleged alien species that resemble a humanoid bird. The avian was first sighted in France after a man allegedly got attacked by one. Avians have been around for a long time, which is evident from their ancient depictions in the form of cave murals. Barnacle tree. The barnacle tree is a legendary tree that has large barnacles with baby geese in them. The myth started when people found driftwood with goose barnacles growing on it. Black-eyed children. Black-eyed children are a humanoid cryptid that first appeared in an urban legend in 1998. They are ghostly children with eyes that are completely black. It is said that these children are either ghosts, demons or aliens. Black Stickman Black Stickman is a cryptid humanoid that has been sighted all around the globe. These stickmen are two-dimensional and their appearance doesn't change no matter what angle they are seen at. They don't cast any shadows. Dark Fairy A dark fairy resembles a small humanoid creature with butterfly wings. Some fairy sightings describe dark fairy as a creepy, pale-skinned gnome-like creature that descends from a maggot larval state. Dutch Flying Jellyfish The Dutch Flying Jellyfish refers to a kind of UFO spotted in the Netherlands that resembles a flying jellyfish. Man in Black I have talked about Men in Black before on this channel, but for those who don't know, Men in Black are strange men dressed in black suits and allegedly silence UFO witnesses. It is believed that these men are either government agents or some kind of alien. Men in Black usually warn people not to talk about their sightings or findings that relate to ufology, and sometimes even silence witnesses. Metal Man Metal Man is an alien that was allegedly seen by a man named Jeff Greenshaw. The metal man seems to wear a tinfoil suit made from aluminium, 
The movements he made were robotic, but human-like at the same time. The Metal Man also has been reported to run extremely fast. Flying Horse Flying Horse refers to a possible UFO sighting that happened near one of Mexico's most active volcanoes. UFO enthusiasts believe that extraterrestrial activity is drawn to these kind of volcanoes. The Flying Horse looks a bit like Pegasus, but doesn't seem to have any wings. It could also be a drone. Michigan Dogman The Michigan Dogman is a cryptid that was first sighted in 1887 in Wexford County, Michigan. It is 7 feet tall and resembles a bipedal canine-like animal that has a human scream. According to the legend, the Michigan Dogman appears in a 10-year cycle that falls on years ending in 7. NASA Jellyfish Anomalies NASA jellyfish are part of the atmospheric beast and resemble jellyfish-like UFOs that were sighted in NASA's recordings. Norwegian Atmospheric Jellyfish The Norwegian Atmospheric Jellyfish are likely the same as the one in the Dutch sightings, and they are often seen together with the Northern Lights. This cryptid either resembles a UFO or an alien. Shadow people. Shadow people are exactly that, living shadows. You can usually see them in the corner of your eyes. As soon as someone realizes what they saw, they are gone. Shadow people are believed to be evil and aggressive, and when you look them in their eyes, they release a screechy, static scream. A famous shadow person is Hatman, who appears to wear a fedora whenever he is seen. Toronto Aerial Jellyfish the Toronto jellyfish is another alien slash UFO atmospheric jellyfish that has been sighted in the sky. Orange alligator. There are some photos that depict an alligator with orange skin, which is very bizarre. There might be naturally orange alligators in places such as the Everglades, but this has not been confirmed. The orange coating could also be from the environment the alligator has been in. Sewer gator. Sewer alligators are alligators that live in the sewers of the United States. A possible explanation for this is the fact that tourists would buy baby alligators in coastal cities. These alligators were sometimes discarded and grew up in the sewers underneath the city. Hook Island Sea Monster The Hook Island Sea Monster is a large tadpole creature that lives off the coast of Hook Island in Australia. The creature resembles a giant black sperm. There is a very good photo of the sea monster, but there is no way for sure to know whether this is a hoax or not. Colossal Squid We know about the existence of giant and colossal squids, but information about them is hard to gather. Sperm whales do wash up shore with huge scars that are from colossal or giant squids. Sightings of these squids are close to non-existent because they live at depths of at least 1000 meter or 3300 feet or more, meaning that they live without any light at all. We have estimations of the size of colossal squids, but much larger ones probably do exist. The colossal squid is not a cryptid anymore, but a former one. Organism 46b Organism 46b is a cryptid aquatic beast captured by a Russian scientific team in Fostok Station on Antarctica. 46b is a 14 tentacled squid-like creature and can release toxins to immobilize its prey. Allegedly, one of the researchers died because of its toxin. Pukwachi. The Pukwachi is a creature for Wampanoag folklore. They resemble a human with enlarged noses, fingers and ears, and they have a grey skin. According to the legend, they can use magic and have poisonous arrows. Elves. Elves stem from German mythology. They are divine beings that have magical powers and exist of both the dark and the light kind. Elves got really repopularized in the 20th century, mainly because of the work of J.R.R. Tolkien. Grassman The Grassman has a very similar appearance to that of Bigfoot. It is a bipedal ape-like that stalks the wood of Ohio. It is believed to be way more aggressive than Bigfoot because it allegedly broke the neck of a German shepherd and killed it. Kitsune Kitsune is a Japanese cryptid fox that has nine tails. Kitsunes are depicted as intelligent beings that have magic powers and are usually faithful guardians. Some Kitsunes trick people and can possess people. Minnesota Dogman 
The Minnesota Dogman is probably the same as the Michigan Dogman, but spotted in Minnesota. Both instances describe the Dogman as a large wild dog that walks on two legs. Ogre The ogre is a legendary monster that is large and hideous and feeds off human beings. They appear in a lot of old mythology, but also in modern pop culture. Siren Head Siren Head is a slender and tall creature standing at 40 feet or 12 meters high. Siren Head has a head that is made out of large sirens, out of which it can play pretty much anything it likes. Siren Head uses these sirens to lure any potential humans before he murders and sometimes eats them. The monster is also known to play a creepy, old and broken alarm sound. Siren Head can blend in very well with the trees, combined with the fact that usually he attacks in forests and in the night. Sheep Squatch Sheep Squatch has woolly hair and has been sighted in West Virginia. According to some sightings, Sheep Squatch is four times as large as a bear and has saber-like teeth. Bahamut The Bahamut is a giant fish that supports a landmass in Islamic lore. The fish supports a bed of sand on which stands a bull, and on the back of this bull rests a rock that holds the waters in which our earth is located. Bahamut is described as so immense that a human cannot bear its sight. Zedo Azul Monster The Zedo Azul Monster is a cryptid whose identity has been theorized after a photograph that was taken near the town of Zedo Azul in Panama. A group of teenagers allegedly got attacked by a monster after playing near a cave. They allegedly killed the monster with sticks and took photographs of its corpse. The photograph depicts a creature with a hairless, rubbery body with a snub nose and long arms. Chilean Blob The Chilean Blob is a large mesh of tissue that washed up on Pinuno Beach, Chile in 2003. This sighting made large headlines because scientists were unable to identify it until June of 2004 when they confirmed it shares the same DNA as that of a sperm whale. The blob looks really cool and promising, but this is unfortunately a hoax and in fact not a cryptid. Cyclops Shark The Cyclops Shark refers to a shark fetus that was found by a fisherman in the Gulf of California. It was theorized to be a cryptid and thus an undiscovered shark species that only has one eye. But after National Geographic investigated the stillborn, they concluded that this fetus suffered from cyclopia, which is a rare disease that occurs in several animal species, causing animals to be born with only one eye. Sharks born like this never get old, but who knows, maybe some of them do. Manipogo Manipogo is a lake monster that allegedly lives in Lake Manitoba, Canada. Manipogo has been described as a snake-slash-serpent-like creature that has a muddy brown body with humps that show above the water. The lake has many sightings regarding a large water snake. Platypus The platypus is a former cryptid that now has its own scientific classification. The platypus was once a cryptid because it had the characteristics of a reptile, mammal and a bird. They live in Australia and are protected in their habitat. Kiva Hirsuta The Kiva Hirsuta is known as the Yeti Crab. The Kiva Hirsuta is a former cryptid and we are now certain of its existence. Yeti crabs live in waters that are just above freezing level. The crabs have a kind of furry slash hairy structure which attracts bacteria, which is their main diet. Sewer Creatures Sewer creatures could perhaps refer to the sewer gator, but also to other creatures that allegedly live in the sewers. One instance of this is known as the Cameron Village Sewer Blob, which is an alleged blob that lives underneath the North Carolina sewers. It kinda looks like the creature from the horror movie The Blob. Ropen The Ropen means demon flyer and looks like a large bat that can possibly produce light in order to attract fish. The Ropen can also be a pterosaur-like, a dinosaur species that went extinct millions of years ago. Drop Bear Drop bears are alleged dangerous relatives to the peaceful koala. They have allegedly killed humans while hiding in trees. Many people believe they are part of local Australian lore. Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is another former cryptid and is now known as the largest living lizard on earth. They can kill prey with their venom. 
The Komodo dragon was encrypted up until somewhere between 1912 and 1927. Photos of the Komodo dragon were first taken in 1912 and the creature was captured in 1927. Orang Gadang. The Orang Gadang is a cryptid from Sumatra, Indonesia, and shares characteristics with Bigfoot. It has bushy dark hair and has been sighted multiple times. It releases a blood curdling scream when it attacks. Australian Dinosaurs. Australian dinosaurs obviously refer to there being living dinosaurs in Australia. Some farmers have reported to have witnessed to hear some weird and unusual noises, and cryptozoologists have tied these noises to ornithopod-like dinosaurs. Andean Wolf the Andean wolf is a cryptid mountain wolf that lives in the Andes. Its existence has been theorized after a German animal dealer allegedly bought its skin and sent it to museums for inspectations. There might be a possibility that this wolf has existed but has gone extinct. Ukumar Ukumar is known as the Argentinian Bigfoot. It is an ape-like and has multiple sightings. Giant Grasshoppers the giant grasshopper is an cryptid whose existence has been theorized after an unknown photographer took photos near Mitchell, South Dakota. These photos are unfortunately hoaxes, as it turns out that the grasshopper depicted is a wooden model, named Whopperhopper. Snellygaster Snellygaster is a dragon-like beast that terrorized German immigrants in Maryland. The Snellygaster is a nightmarish creature that is half bird and has demon slash ghoul like features. The monster has razor sharp teeth and sometimes tentacles. It allegedly picks up its victims and carries them, and it sometimes sucks their blood. Miami Beach Scorpion The Miami Beach Scorpion is a large scorpion that has been spotted on Miami Beach. The Miami Beach Scorpion might be an evolved lobster species that still rules the sea today. Cockatrice. The cockatrice is a mythical beast that resembles a two-legged dragon with a rooster's head. The cockatrice is famous for its use in English mythology and literature. Direwolf. The direwolf is an animal that has gone extinct and live in the Pleistocene era. The direwolf is the original wild dog. They have some sightings that suggest that direwolves are still alive in the Nahanni National Park. Moon-eyed people. Moon-eyed people are a legendary group of people that have big round eyes and are very small. It is believed that they live underground. These people stem from Native American folklore. Hudson River Monster The Hudson River Monster is a Loch Ness-like monster that allegedly lives in the Hudson River. Hippogriff The Hippogriff is a mythical creature that resembles a griffin but is part horse instead of part lion. The Hippogriff is a hoax that was created in 1904 in Lake George by tricksters. The Lake George Museum made an original wooden display of the creature. Saxu Saxu is a mythical giant bird that lives in South America and is likely the same as the Thunderbird. It can gather storm and is responsible for weather control. Yuki Ona Yuki Ona is a spirit that stems from Japanese folklore and if translated means snow woman. Yuki Ona is tall and is a beautiful woman with black or white hair and blue lips. She might be beautiful, but her eyes can strike fear in mortals. She might be the spirit of someone who died in a snowstorm. Black Bird of Chernobyl The Black Bird of Chernobyl resembles a huge black bird that somewhat looks like Mothman and was allegedly sighted during the Chernobyl meltdown and during the rescue of Chernobyl workers. The sightings all include workers seeing a huge creature in the area of the power plant. Rescuers in helicopters supposedly all saw this large bird and all died moments after. Cave children. Cave children might be the reason why we can't go into certain caves. They might have been described as four-legged animals with pale, translucent skin. They have arched backs. They walk like awkward spiders and might have wings, but they cannot fly. 
Old Ned. Old Ned is a lake monster that lives in Lake Utopia. Old Ned is a giant eel that allegedly has sightings every three to five years. Big Muddy Monster. The Big Muddy Monster is a beast that was sighted in 1973 when a young couple came face to face with it. The monster is a huge, wet, hair and mud slathered beast that torments local citizens. Bunny Man. The bunny man is a cryptid that stems from a famous urban legend. The bunny man is a giant humanoid bunny or man in a costume that is holding a knife or an axe. According to the legend, bunny man murders only happen on Halloween at 12 p.m. underneath the Colchester Bridge. It is believed that if you're there at exactly that time, he will murder you. People have suggested that this is a man that escaped from an asylum. There have been sightings of a man dressed as a bunny in the Virginia forests. Rugaru. Rugaru is a wolf or werewolf-like creature that lives in the swamps of Louisiana. It is believed to be a werewolf that can turn into a normal wolf anytime it likes. Rugaru is often told as an urban legend in order to scare children. Some cow mutilations in the area might link to this beast. Lake Worth Monster. The Lake Worth Monster is a half-goat, half-man monster that allegedly terrorizes Lake Worth in Texas. The monster has been described with having scales and fur. One man might have had the scar damaged by the monster as it had a large scar on it. This has been investigated but nothing has been found. The only evidence we have of the monster is the Alan Plaster photograph which was taken in 1969. Hopkinsville Goblins Hopkinsville Goblins are cryptids that have been involved in multiple extraterrestrial sightings. They have white skin with upright pointed ears, thin legs, long arms and claw-like hands. The goblins almost seem to be in some kind of dysfunctional state. The creature never entered houses during their sightings, but they did pop around the houses. We unfortunately don't have any photographs. Oklahoma Octopus The Oklahoma Octopus is a large cryptid that allegedly lives in some freshwater in Oklahoma. There is no evidence for its existence, but there is a high mortality rate in and around Oklahoma rivers and lakes. Melon Heads Melon Heads are abandoned children that were a test subject of Dr. Crow. The doctor performed multiple torturous experiments on these children. After Dr. Crow injected a certain chemical into the children's brains, their craniums grew grotesquely large. The children became mentally ill, but later managed to kill the doctor. They now roam the forests of Ohio and surrounding states. Bullebug. The Bullebug is a Dutch cryptid that allegedly comes out in night and scares people with loud roaring noise. According to the legend, the Bullebug is a water demon that is equipped with a large hook and it uses this to grab children and drown them. Mogolan Monster. The Mogolan Monster is a type of Bigfoot that allegedly lives in the Arizona forests. There have been reports of footprints, hair samples, and video evidence. Like Bigfoot, the monster has reddish and brown hair. Giant of Kandahar The Giant of Kandahar is an enormous humanoid creature that was allegedly encountered by a group of American soldiers. According to the story, the giant impaled one of the soldiers and the troops took 30 seconds of continuous fire in order to take the giant down. Deer Man the Deer Man is a cryptid that is commonly confused with the Wendigo. The Deer Man stems from North American folklore, opposed to the Wendigo whose origins stem from Native American mythology. The Deer Man is a humanoid that has the head of a deer and large antlers. Catalonia Fallen Angel The Catalonia Fallen Angel is a humanoid cryptid that was spotted on a video in Catalonia, Spain. The creature is almost skeletal with a body that is identical to that of a human. It appears to have glowing eyes and featherless wings. Door dogs. Door dogs are small silent dogs that are said to follow people who will soon die. The people that are gonna die cannot see their own door dog. They are usually seen when a person passes a certain threshold, such as a doorway. Mutant Muppet. The Mutant Muppet is a cryptid humanoid that was covered in Namibia, Africa by a shooting party. We only have one photo of the creature. One theory suggests that the mutant Muppet is some kind of mutated human. Dingo Neck The Dingo Neck is known as the Jungle Walrus and was spotted by European explorers in the jungles of West Africa. 
The dingo neck is described as having a big head that resembles the head of a lion. It has two long fangs sticking from its upper jaw. It is scaled like an armadillo, but it's colored and marked as a leopard. Sandown Clown The Sandown Clown is a one-time encounter of a cryptid that was seen in Sandown, England. After some children followed an ambulance-like siren, they came face to face with a clown-like robot. It was shy but friendly and spoke kindly to the children. The clown was never to be seen again, unfortunately. 4chan Grey Alien The 4chan Grey Alien refers to a photo that was taken by a 4chan user and depicts a grey alien. The photo was posted on a paranormal board and it said that the user took the photo after he wanted to scare a raccoon with his flesh. Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain The Crazy Critter of Bald Mountain is an insect-like creature that lives in Washington state. The cryptid is covered with scales and stands on four rubbery legs. It has an antenna and gives off a green light. Bad Beast of Kent The Bad Beast of Kent is described as a headless, bed-like humanoid cryptid. It was spotted after some boys went home at night after a party. The creature has large wings and is believed to be of extraterrestrial origin. California Fetus The California Fetus is a strange, fetus-like creature that was discovered in 2015 in Los Angeles. The evidence we have is a photograph and the creature appears to be bipedal, having two long legs that end in a hoof-like stump. This could be a deformed fetus, but also a cryptid. Moore's Beach Monster The Moore's Beach Monster is the carcass of an alleged cryptid. It has a large head with a beak-like mouth and tiny eyes. The carcass unfortunately turned out to be that one of a bear's beaked whale after the skull was collected. Solway Firth Spaceman The Solway Firth Spaceman refers to a photo taken of Jim Templeton's daughter in 1964. You can clearly see a large humanoid creature behind her that looks like it's in some kind of spacesuit, hence the name Spaceman. The Spaceman might be an alien, which would make sense because the area had many reportings related to UFO activity. Park Forestal Alien The Park Forestal Alien is another cryptid that originates from one known photograph taken in Park Forestal, Chile in 2004. The creature depicted seems to be a small grey alien. The photographer claims that the photo is authentic, and in fact not a hoax. Geth the Talking Mongoose Geth the Talking Mongoose is a cryptid that likely represents a poltergeist. There is little known about Geth besides his alleged claims of being born in 1852 and calling himself the eighth wonder of the world. Large Antarctic Sea Mammal the large Antarctic sea mammal was known as the Antarctic Godzilla because of its striking resemblance. The cryptid was spotted by a Japanese research ship in 1958. Black Demon The Black Demon is an enormous black shark that allegedly lives in the waters surrounding Mexico. This could very well be a megalodon shark or an entire new species. Sightings of the Black Demon are rare, but do exist. Ahoy Sol the Aoi Sol is a small dog-like creature that stems from Aztec and Mayan mythology. According to the legend, the cryptid submerges itself in a lake and begins to wail like a small child or frightened woman. This way it lures people to him and then strangles them to death. Ishi Ishi is a Japanese variant of the Loch Ness Monster. It has the same characteristics. Kushi Kushi is another large lake monster that is believed to live in Lake Kusharo, Japan. The creature's head looks somewhat like a horse and it has two giraffe horns on top of its head. There have been many sightings in the recent years. Selma Selma is a Norwegian lake monster that represents a large freshwater serpent with humps on its back. Selma has also been described as a large anaconda. Elmas Elmas is an ape-like cryptid that is a Bigfoot-like creature. It is a large bipedal ape that can hunt and eat large animals. Mapinguari 
Mapinguari is a giant sloth that was once a Amazonian shaman who discovered the key to immortality, but got punished by the gods. The creature is probably a giant ground sloth that lived during the Ice Age. Grecian Dolphin The Grecian Dolphin is a very strange dolphin-like creature that has been spotted twice off the coast of Greece. It looked like a dolphin with an elongated horse-like face. This could also be a mutant dolphin. Sakhalin Island Sea Wolf The Sakhalin Island Sea Wolf was a mutilated corpse that was found by Russian soldiers on the Sakhalin shoreline. The skull resembles that one of a canine creature, but it also has the characteristics of a fish. This might be a whale. Thames River Monster The Thames River Monster is a giant serpent-like creature that was sighted on a mysterious YouTube video. It was spotted in the Thames River and appears to be very large compared to other objects in the video. The Man from Torrid The Man from Torrid was a man at the Haneda Airport in Tokyo, Japan. When asked for his country of origin, he stated that he comes from the supposedly non-existent country of Torrid, between the borders of France and Spain. During some questioning, the man was able to answer all the questions about Torrid, including the history of the country. The custom on the airport booked the man in hotel so that they could figure this out in the morning. But when the morning came, the man was completely vanished and nothing that proves he ever was there has ever been found. Kushtaka Kushtaka are mythical shape-shifting ape-like creatures. A kushtaka can transform in any form of species it wants and they are usually depicted as cruel. Kushtaka can be defended against by using copper or fire. Dog Boy Dog Boy, or the Dog-Faced Man, refers to the Russian man named Fedor Jeftichu. Jeftichu was a famous Russian sideshow performer who suffered from a medical condition called hypertrichosis. Hypertrichosis causes an extreme growth of hair on the face and is often referred to as werewolf syndrome. Dog Boy is another entry where I can 100% prove it is true. Dark Watchers The Dark Watchers are a group of human-like creatures that stand on hills in Santa Lucia Mountains in California. They are completely dressed in black and wear a hat and often look up towards the sky. They might be related to Black Stickman. Water Babies of Massacre Rocks Water Babies of Massacre Rocks are cryptids that stem from a tragic Native American story. After Native Americans invaded this area many years ago, a severe famine hit. This famine got so intense that the village didn't have enough food to feed any newborn children and thus the village decided to force mothers to drown their babies in the river after they were born. According to some stories, you can still hear the sounds of babies crying when you sit in silence in the river because their spirits never left it. Water Elephant The water elephant is a cryptid that lives in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They are tuskless elephants that live in a deep murky water and feed on aquatic plants. There have been many sightings over the years. Green Clawed Beast The Green Clawed Beast is a cryptid that came to fruition after a claw-like hand grabbed a woman named Naomi Johnson and pulled her beneath the water. The hand let go just to grab her again and did this a few times. Naomi turned out to be fine but was later visited by an Air Force colonel who told her to never speak about this incident. The creature was never seen again. Mutated Fukushima Giant Hornet The Mutated Hornet is a cryptid that is an allegedly a mutated giant hornet from the nuclear disaster of Fukushima that happened in 2011. Some alleged casualties from this hornet have been reported and some even say the hornet made its way to the United States. Spiteful Mermaid of Pyramid Lake According to the legend, there was a Native American man who fell in love with a mermaid that lives in this lake. His tribe rejected her and told him to throw her back into the lake. The mermaid got angry and then cursed the lake. The lake is now known to drown locals. Goody Call Goody Call is known as the only woman convicted for witchcraft in New Hampshire. Goody Call spent at the end of her life in prison convicted for witchcraft, where she eventually died in 1680. 
Because the people weren't content, they dug her body up and exorcised her by putting a stake for her heart. It is said that her ghost wanders in Hampton. Ghost Boy of Clinton Road The Ghost Boy of Clinton Road is folklore from New Jersey. According to the legend, if you look over the bridge in Clinton Road, a ghost will push you in the water. He does this because he was run over in his life and wants to save other people. La Mala Hora La Mala Hora is a Mexican demon whose name means the evil hour in Spanish. She is an evil demon that lurks at crossroads, waiting to strike her prey, which is usually an unwary traveler. It is said that she is more feared than the devil. Cropsy Cropsy is an alleged escaped mental patient who lived at the abandoned Willowbrook Mental Institution. Cropsy is known as a man who snatches children and kills them with a bloody axe. This legend has been linked to disappearance of five children in the area who were likely killed by a man named Andre Rand, who most likely represented Cropsy. Andre Rand was convicted for the murder of one of the children in 1988. Oregon Bandage Man The Oregon Bandage Man is a cryptid man-like figure that is covered in bloody bandages and emits a horrible stench of rotten flesh. He has been spotted near Cannon Beach in Oregon. Ghost Cities Ghost cities are a mirage-esque phenomenon appearing in China in which mysterious, ghostly cities appear in the skyline. There have been multiple sightings and the cities appear to float. Solar Plexus Clown Gliders Solar Plexus Clown Gliders are demonic cryptids that appear in paranormal phenomena. Their origins stem from a horror-themed chain email that went around the internet in the 1990s. This email claimed that when you heard the words Solar Plexus Clown Glider, you would get infected. They admit some kind of physiological sickness on their victims, causing people to experience hallucinations and psychosis. SPCGs are portrayed as jester-like demons. Pig-Faced Woman The Pig-Faced Woman is an urban legend from 1630s England. The stories tell us that the Pig-Faced Woman became this way after a result of witchcraft. After her wedding day, she was granted the choice to appear beautiful to her husband, but pig-like to others, or pig-like to him and beautiful to others. Her husband told her that the choice is hers, and thus the enchantment was broken, making the woman return to normal. Illustrations and stories about the pig-faced woman appeared in several newspapers at the time. Black Flash The Black Flash is a tall, human-like cryptid that dresses in all black. The Black Flash is usually encountered by children and laughs at people while jumping to them with extreme speeds. Cloud Giant A cloud giant is described as a sky phenomenon that occurs during a thunderstorm. It tends to stand out among other clouds and can move at very high speeds. A cloud giant wants and can destroy entire houses. Mad Gasser of Mattoon the Madcaster of Mattoon is a humanoid cryptid that supposedly haunted the town of Mattoon, Illinois during the 1940s. The Madcaster carried a flit gun with which he could expel gas onto his victims. The people of Illinois described the Madcaster as a tall man dressed in black, but it was later described as a female dressed as a man. Piranha Creature The Piranha Creature is a carcass that was discovered on the shore of the Piranha River in Paraguay. The creature looked a bit like a frog and had five fingers on each hand. It also had a very pale skin. Some theories suggest that the piranha creature is the carcass of a chupacabra. Gnome of Girona The Gnome of Girona is a humanoid possible fetus cryptid that was spotted in Girona, Spain. The creature was captured by a hunter but died soon after. Highway Beast the Highway Beast is another carcass that might resemble a dead dog. The carcass has never been identified and looks quite strange, so it could possibly be a cryptid. Kofashi Creature The Kofashi Creature is a carcass found on the banks of the Kofashi River in Russia. The body is very small and black in color. It is a very odd shaped skull and it might have had wings. A Russian biologist wasn't able to identify the creature. The Ogen the Ogen is a creature in a Belgium urban legend about 80 children that were murdered in a forest. It is a greenish ghost-like fog that is very hard to spot. It is said that some creature stares at its victim while it's hiding in the fog. 
Brazilian Werewolf The Brazilian Werewolf was a humanoid cryptid that was caught by a security camera in Brazil. The alleged photograph looks like a bipedal wolf, thus resembling a werewolf. Sea Monk The Sea Monk is a cryptid that was spotted off the eastern coast of the Danish island Sealand. It was spotted in 1546 and described as a fish that looks like a monk. There was only one allegedly captured in Germany in 1541, but this one died after three days. Crawfordsville Monster The Crawfordsville Monster is an atmospheric cryptid spotted in 1981 in Crawfordsville. It has one red eye and finally flapped its small wings in order to remain in the air. Its appearance has been described as eel-like. Some people have witnessed the monster while it's making agonizing sounds and hoovering 300 feet above the ground. Shock Monkey The Shock Monkey is a cryptid that supposedly has the features of both a dog and a monkey. The Shock Monkey is believed to be some kind of ghost or demon and originated from the book of Here Are Ghosts and Witches from James Wentworth. Flying Rays Flying Rays are exactly that, flying manta rays. There have been multiple flying race sightings in the US, where the witnesses describe the creature as a graying, smooth, winged flying creature. Some sightings depicted the rays as translucent, like a jellyfish. The Giant Penguin The Giant Penguin is a cryptid that was allegedly sighted in 1940s in Florida, USA. A couple was supposedly arrested by a large bird that was 15 feet or 4.5 meters tall. Large tracks of a free-toed animal were found. These tracks were unfortunately proven wrong because they were made with penguin feet made out of iron. Moa Moa The Moa Moa is a turtle-like cryptid that allegedly inhabits the Great Barrier Reef near Queensland, Australia. It has a long neck and a huge fish tail. Sightings of the creature go all the way back to explorations of James Cook in the 1770s where a Moa Moa supposedly roamed around one of his ships. It is believed that the Moa Moa is dangerous and can attack humans. Giant Shrimp in the Laundry Room The giant shrimp in the laundry room was a very bizarre cryptid that was, well, a giant shrimp inside of a laundry room. This was a one-time sighting with no photos. The giant shrimp was as tall as the woman who encountered it. Flannel Shirt Sasquatch The Flannel Shirt Sasquatch is a variation of the normal Sasquatch, where this one, well you guessed it, wears a flannel shirt. This shirt can be either self-made or stolen from humans, and is usually torn. Camera Heads Camera heads are human-like cryptids that have a camera implanted inside of their eyes, or have a head that is made out of a camera. They originate from a 4chan creepypasta, but they seem to be spotted all over the world. Camera heads stalk their victims and make them go crazy. Camera heads very likely inspired Siren Head. Carnivorous Pink Cloud The carnivorous pink cloud refers to a ghostly phenomenon or a pink cloud or mist that seems to appear in the woods of Daytona, Florida. The cloud has been blamed for many deaths and bodies found in the woods and is believed that the cloud sucks the flesh from people's bones. Sky Serpents Sky serpents are serpentine dragons that float or fly in the air. Sky serpents have been spotted many times on both photos and videos and appear to fly without any wings. Sky serpents could be UFOs or an entire new species of animal that can float in the air. Conrid The Conrid is a Vietnamese cryptid resembling a large oceanic centipede. The Conrid's body is made of bony plates and fish-like fins. A conrad was supposedly observed for nearly 30 minutes in 1899 before it sank back to the surface. Rock Apes The rock ape is a cryptid that was sighted during the Vietnam War. Rock apes are hairy, muscular and somewhat similar to Sasquatch. Rock apes are not dangerous, but they are known to throw rocks. They can be dangerous if you anger them, as some of the encounters resulted in very violent acts where rock apes torn humans apart limb from limb and ripped their guts out. Ghost Wolf The Ghost Wolf is a large and dangerous wolf that allegedly inhabits the Northwest Territories. 
Some cryptozoologists speculate that the ghost wolf is a version of the dire wolf, a species that went extinct more than 10,000 years ago. Ghost wolves are very dangerous and even known for ripping people's heads off. Ghost Moose The ghost moose is a ghostly animal that was sighted in Maine during the 1900s. It has been described as an enormous moose with extreme large antlers. It can face through objects and whenever a hunter saw one, it would blink right out of existence. Pennine Pterodactyl The Pennine Pterodactyl is a large pterosaur-like creature that was witnessed by multiple people. There have been claims of the creature having a terrifying scream and that it seemed difficult for the creature to keep itself airborne. There has been a photo of the bird taken in 1983, but all you can see is a blurry silhouette. Cabajon The Cabajon is a cryptid that was first spotted by a Japanese fishing ship in 1974 near New Zealand. The creature has large eyes and large nostrils. The head of the Cabajon was the only thing that the crew saw, but only the head itself was around 5 feet or 1.5 meters tall. The Cabajon has some resemblance to Godzilla. Kading 4 The Kading 4 is known as the snake-eating cow, a cryptid that allegedly lives in Cambodia and Vietnam. The creature has weird twisting horns, and people theorize about its existence after such horns were found. Some cryptozoologists believe that the Kating 4 existed during the 20th century, but later went extinct. X-Monkey X-Monkey is a cryptid that was created in a lab. It is not known who created it, but it has been described as of having the size of an orangutan and having a half-robotic face. Allegedly, hair has been found, which had orangutan DNA and artificial DNA on it. There have also been blueprints found with the name X on it, hence the cryptid's name. Weird Tiger It seems a bit off to have the Weird Tiger at the bottom tier, but I'll let it slide. The Weird Tiger is a creature that looks like a humanoid tiger and sometimes refers to a human that can shapeshift into a tiger. Weird Tigers are known to eat humans. Hunan Toads Hunan Toads are gigantic albino toads that live in China. In 1962, two fishermen were very concerned with these creatures, resulting them in throwing dynamite in the lake. This action supposedly angered a more terrifying and evil toad, known as Chen. Black Volga The Black Volga is part of an urban legend, in which a mysterious Black Volga limo travels the streets and abducts people. While this story is mostly spread as an urban legend, there might be some truth to this story, with it being a criminal organization that drives this Black Volga. Some people believe that the Black Volga is driven by cultists. Bilambil Heights Alien The Bilambil Heights Alien is an extraterrestrial encounter that was uploaded to YouTube in the form of a 19 minute long video. The video was extremely low in quality, but does seem to show multiple alien sightings on camera. The person who made this video claims that the alien broke into his house while filming. Old Saybrook Blockheads the Old Saybrook Blockheads are aliens part of an extraterrestrial sighting that happened in 1956 in Old Saybrook. A teacher witnessed a UFO with square windows in which she witnessed the Blockheads. They were featureless, didn't have any hands, and had block or cube shaped heads with a bright red core in it. Wood Devils Wood Devils is a group of skinny and sasquatch like creatures that roam the woodlands of New Hampshire. They use trees to hide in and sometimes stand extremely still if there are no trees nearby. Wood devils are feared among humans in the area and they are believed to be a subspecies of Bigfoot. Green Eyes Green Eyes is a humanoid cryptid with glowing green eyes, yellow hair and a weird large jaw with sharp teeth. It was sighted during the Civil War in Georgia. Killer Cactus the killer cactus is a cryptid plant that is usually reported in southwestern America, with mainly Arizona. The killer cactus is an unusual variety of the cactus plant because this species usually latches on clothing and flesh. The plant seems to attack people this way. These plants never killed anyone. The Awful The Awful is a winged cryptid described as a griffin with grey wings and enormous claws. The Awful is actually said to be the inspiration for many H.P. Lovecraft stories, a writer you might know for his stories about Cthulhu. Lovecraft actually went to the towns in Vermont in order to investigate the sightings of the Awful. 
Metapack Creature. The Metapack is a strange cryptid that was found by Mexican farmers in 2007. It appears to be a small grey alien. A farmer named Urso Rui regularly used to set up traps for animals, but caught a small alien-like creature. Four people on the farm have seen the creature and later killed it. The owner of the ranch later died in a car fire and it's believed that this was due to revenge of the alien. The alien was sold to UFO journalist Jay Musan, who claimed the alien is real. Veggie Man, or the Vegetable Man, is a tall, human-shaped cryptid that looks to be plant-based. It has oscillating eyes that go from red to yellow and has very thin arms. Veggie Man was first sighted in 1968 by a hunter in the forests. The hunter came face to face with the creature and it used telepathic communication to tell the man that he didn't meant any harm. The creature almost hypnotized the hunter and pierced his skin with his horns on his fingers. After this short encounter, the creature ran off to be never seen again. The hunter later heard noises from the other side of the hill, presumably of the Fetchy Man's spaceship taking off. This 1968 encounter is the only encounter we know of. Squonk Squonk is a weird and ugly looking cryptid that lives in the Hemlock Forest in northern Pennsylvania. According to the legend, the creature's skin is ill-fitting and covered with warts. The creature always looks scared and hides from people because it's ashamed of its appearance. The Six-Legged Rape Centaur Well, there it is. The one you all have been waiting for. The Six-Legged Rape Centaur. This cryptid comes from an old fortune story. The writer tells a story about how he went on a family trip in West Virginia and how he encountered the Six-Legged Rape Centaur there. Wow, you actually did it. You made it all the way through the end. Thank you so much for watching and I hope I see you all soon with another video. I really enjoyed making this video. It took me a long time. So if you're still here and you didn't subscribe or didn't leave a like, um, please do because it helps me out immensely. Anyways, again, I'm going to say thank you so much for watching. Definitely thank you for watching all the way through the end because you know that's amazing this is a long video it's like a whole movie it's like you were watching a whole movie but it's you could have watched i mean you could have watched a whole movie but instead you chose listening to me so that's pretty awesome uh well anyways that's gonna be it thank you and i hope i see you all very soon